This is a little bit of an unboxing video because we don't know what we're gonna find. This was a double screen board split. These bees might be pretty mad. We will see. Ooh. Okay, gotta love it. We got some workers on the inner cover, quite a few. This is just dry sugar, the last of the winter feed. I put it on there while we were still having nights that were freezing. Uh, that's one of the benefits of the double screen board. You can kind of do it a little bit early because it shares the heat with the bottom hive. Each of these compartments has its own opening and the goal is to get a frame with the queen cell and some brood and then a resource frame in each one. Starting with the third frame in. Oh, I got a cup on this side. Okay. Here you go on yours. A little bit of brood still hatching out. Got some drone brood. I think maybe. So here, we've got a good looking queen cell here. And a tiny one right up here. with a lot of honey. Yep. On that one side. That sounds good. So we're giving them a frame with capped honey. And then the inner cover goes back on. Does that look uncapped to you? What is that? Uh, it's weird, right? It is a little weird. It looks like they're still working on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's, it's got that sort of weird shootout look to it. Mm -hmm. They might have killed the uh, day three mm -hmm. eggs. Beautiful. That's a nice one. That might be another. It's hard to tell. Yep, that's small though. Yep. Still some brood hatching out. Brood hatching out. Are you seeing any queen cells I'm over here? Now. I'm gonna put that one in. Okay. I've got a good one for you on me. Frame. Oh, we've got a beauty on this one. Oh, Look at that. That's a, that's a beauty. And at the top too, Ben. Small one. Yeah, on the left side. Two on the other side at least. Okay. Top corner, so that's a winner. Three. Oh, there's three right oh, there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this frame, make sure I can see it. This frame obviously has a beautiful queen cell right here, a small one right here, got another one in the top right, another one in the top left, and then on the other side, we are seeing one, two, three next to each other right there. I'm actually a little nervous to put seven queen cells into one of these. So these could be ones if you wanted to try to isolate. I could. I could also kill off a few of the smaller Small ones. ones yeah. Or we can just put it in and let it happen. How much time do you think you have left on these? They're going to hatch it out between Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. So 
I'm not going to kill any off. I know some people do that, but we're going to leave these as is. Yeah, be careful with that one. It's a little it's wobbly, little wobbly, but it's got a lot of... That's a good, nice looking honey on it. has exceeded expectation. Yeah, this is almost as fun as trying to catch the find the queen. I'm not seeing any on this side. I'm not either. Lots of brood though. Good resources. 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 So I'm, I'm gonna go back. Hang on though, Ben. You this is probably just resources too, but you didn't check that one. Good call. Nothing on the other side. Okay, we are going to. You did have that one that has a little one at the bottom, and the other side, and then that that one that's mm -hmm. weird looking, and then the other one on the other side was the one that also was looks weird looking. Looks dead. Okay, this was likely a dead frame. And this one had none. It's just got some emerging fruit, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that means that between this, we've got three of these. I'm going to take these two. Yeah. Because I don't want to miss out on any of these emerging brood. No. The reason I didn't want to combine this one is I thought mm -hmm. with so many queen cells in here, you could see a double swarm. Do we have any other brood frames? That's nectar. I think, I think we're good. I think so too. So I think this this has a lot of honey. Yeah. So we're gonna put this in here. Now in a place I've got a five frame nuke. I've got two two frame nukes. I want to shake every bee that's in here onto these. This definitely has the biggest population. Yeah. So I want to make sure that these two get first right to these. I'm going to shake the lid yeah, first. By, by bottom, I'm at top. Down. A good number of these should be nurse bees who hatched out in the past week. Mm -hmm.
And if I may, a lot of the ones I think have probably gone into this side, so. I try to get more of them on the middle. And there are a lot of bees up inside of there. Yeah. Okay, can you actually? Yep. That was not, not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's not too bad. You probably cut straight through that. Get some honeycomb. I know, I sort of want to just take a big bite. I'm probably going to call it there. Yeah. I want to push this corner down. I think you're right. This is the one that feels a little light. These, we have good coverage throughout. Mm -hmm. I think you got a good enough number of bees in there, and because they're in the middle, they're going to stay nice and toasty. Yep. We've got a five frame nuke, a two frame nuke, a two frame nuke. And we are going to shut these up with our inner covers. Put this on top. Put a rock on top. Now the five frame has two instances now, yes? Close one off. I I would if it was me, but yep. Yeah, it's gonna be the back and the side. Mm -hmm. So the side is fine. It does kind of come out right on the the curve of this thing. I think I'm actually I would use the back. Yeah. Because it is more central to the whole thing. And. If I use the side, they've got to go all the way across. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I need to get a plug for this side. I need to grab a shim, but otherwise, I think we have three nukes. <laughs> 